I think it's a fairly fair statement to say that when Google went from the Pixel 6 to the Pixel 7, not a whole heck of a lot changed. The design stayed pretty much consistent. The specs got a slight bump. A lot of the specs stayed pretty much exactly the same. The experience was sort of a refinement of the experience people were already having. Now with early leaks of the Pixel 8, it looks as though that's going to be another instance of a refinement rather than a full revolution in terms of the design and experience of the device. It's not going to be something like when we went from the 5 to the 6. The 6, 7, and the 8 should all be relatively similar. However, today in this video, we're going to be talking about this particular tweet. Kuba has had a ton to say about Pixel devices over the last few months, and they're ability to leak information seems to be only improving over time. This is a wild one. Perhaps the selling feature of the Pixel 8, or the 8 Pro in this instance, will come from the rather unexpected addition of an actual thermometer. Now this report again was originally coming from Kuba, but it was posted on 91 Mobiles. Before we go any further, I want to say go click on the link in the description when you're done with the video to go to 91 Mobiles to go give them a hit for their video. Also jump back over to Twitter and give them a follow because they absolutely deserve it for the work that's being done here. Let's jump into this article and try and break down exactly what we're talking about here. I think the easiest way to do this is to take a look at the video embedded in the article. Not only do they have this information, they actually have a video demoing this feature. So we're going to try to break this down every step of the way. So this is the Pixel 8 Pro. And from this perspective, it looks fairly similar to the prior Pixel 7s. No surprise there on the screen. It says body temperature tap to measure and then it has a how to use thermometer button down there at the bottom. Let's roll forward with this, identify the sensor on the back of the phone. And now we get a pretty good look at the back of the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, one thing you may notice on here is this interesting design on the back of the device. Now, if you remember, there were some early leaks of the Pixel 7a that had that same design, but then when the device was released, that design was not there any longer. Well, what I think we're seeing here is something basically signifying that this is a pre-release piece of hardware, which says to me that perhaps this video isn't made to be sent out as marketing with the Pixel 8, but maybe is sent internally to people testing the device. That would be a bit of speculation, but it would be odd to have this design on the device for marketing when that design is almost certainly not going to be on the device. This here is the temperature sensor, the thermometer. Of course, there's an LED flash, probably a 5X periscope telephoto zoom. And then of course you would have an ultra wide and then that 50 megapixel primary next to that. There are rumors that Google is going to the Isocell GN2, which would bring some improvements along with it. A slightly larger sensor basically is the quickest way to kind of break that down. So not a whole lot changing in the cameras, although the primary sensor changing is probably going to be somewhat of a big deal. And overall the look back here of the visor is a bit different as well. Of course now all of the cameras are inside one space without having the periscope kind of off on its own like we have on the Pixel 7 Pro. And perhaps that is to kind of squeeze things together to save space for that thermometer. So from there, they show bringing the device up to the face and getting it quite close. And then like a lot of, you know, thermometers that we have, infrared thermometers, kind of dragging it across your forehead over towards your temple and getting a temperature readout. From there, they say that it's going to vibrate when the result is available. Now, the article does go on to mention that this data will be stored locally. So if you're concerned for privacy with your temperature being sent to the cloud and sold to advertisers for some usage that should not be happening. Of course, if you don't want this at all, the Pixel 8 Standard Edition, not the Pro, should not have this feature to begin with at all. They also say this thermometer can be used to read the temperature of other objects, although I'm struggling to think of instances where I would need to do that because this is not like some sort of FLIR thermal imaging. This is much more akin to the thermometers that we all got used to during the COVID pandemic when maybe at work and things like that, they would scan and make sure you weren't sick so that you could actually go to work and do your essential working job. Because of that, it also does feel to me like a feature that would have been really, really cool in 2020, but I'm not entirely sure how useful this is now. What is the application for this? Are there health concerns? Are there things that maybe you can do tracking this to determine different aspects of your overall health? I'm not entirely sure how that would work. I know some other fitness brands use temperature sensing and things like sleep tracking or also tracking of your cycle should you be someone who does indeed experience those sorts of cycles. But all of those things are 
done automatically on your wrist or something like that. This is something that you would have to do manually. So I'm not entirely sure what the use case for this is or if this is something that I'm going to be uh, finding useful in any way. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think this is going to be used for? What could you see it being useful for? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, huge shout out to Kuba on Twitter. Go follow. I really hope I'm saying that name correctly. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name just out of respect for the language that it is typed in. But at any rate, go give them a follow. Go give 91 Mobiles a click for this news article, which is very, very good to have. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe for more. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.